three four announcements. Okay, so one, we have shirts. I'm I'm styling. I didn't hang them up anywhere because we need hangers and all that. Um, we have red, black, and Skylar's wearing blue. They all say only poetry can take down the back. Uh, everyone who's here. Or if you feel more generous and want us to give us more than five dollars. Yeah, I, I would rather you like buy chat books. So like buy a chat book. Buy a four play. We have four plays are our little uh, literary literary amalgamation. But we have three new ones back in the back. Um, also buy books from Sue and Jacob Jesse Barajas. CDs, so. Do you even have CDs or you just do it on We, for our first couple things, we did physical CDs, and then I realized that jewel cases are the worst thing in the world. So, yeah, kind of and so we started doing digipacks, we're just going to be digital. Yeah, so buy his stuff, buy your stuff, buy his stuff, buy our stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> buy stuff, you know, because stuff and things. Um, so. I think this is the last one I need to make. We're gonna have a commercial after we cut off the camera. But um, so for all of you performers, poets, comedians, musicians, and storytellers of both fiction and nonfiction, Writing Nights is hosting our I believe a lot eighth annual grand tournament, I think, seventh annual. Um, we do it every last Saturday of the year. So this year. Like we are, so previously we've been doing page round and stage round because we want we want to make sure our work works both when you read it and when you hear it. Before we would have people submit stuff and then we would pick like the five best manuscripts and then have those people perform. But this year we're starting with the stage round, and so that's going to be pretty big. Um, the current plan accommodates 120 performers, so we'd like to hit that. We'd like to surpass that, but we'd at least like to hit it. So, to further entice you, the champions of the five categories will win $100, and they will get a media release by Writing Nights. If you musicians will get the five tracks funded, uh, poets, storytellers will, also, will get uh, full-length books. Comedians can kind of go in between. They can do the five tracks. They can do the... But if you make it to the finals, you'll still get some. You'll still get something. We also have some side events. Um, we're going to have a haiku joust uh, and a sonnet slam, so you, you could potentially get a number of books like in the, in the chamber, so to speak, to a form. Um, I will mention the entry fee is $5, but if you pay the entry fee, you will perform at least once. So, so that, is, that is something to entice you, and if you want to like gather your five best friends together, and you all want to go, I will knock a dollar off of everybody's um, entry, and the teams will only pay $20. And teams are explained on the Ready Nights website. I have flyers for anyone who's interested. I will pass them around to everyone. And the hashtag is GT2018, so if you're like, holy crap, everyone has to enter, because they do, they should. Um, uh, entries open March 3rd. They close the first Saturday of June and all the schedules will be made by them. Um, we're gonna have we're also gonna have vendors on Court Street. I pointed right where the sign. Court Street from uh, between sixth and third. Uh, we can't we weren't allowed to get the uh, fourth and fifth street blocked off, but we're gonna find barricades when we do that. So if you're interested in being a vendor, <laughs> 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 yeah. so yeah, we're gonna make sure people don't run us over while we're having vendors and such. But. So yeah, so we're looking for vendors. We're also looking for sponsors. If someone wants to throw us a hundred dollars, we'll put a banner up, and you can be like, hey, we're awesome because we support this local grassroots uh, show. Um, we're gonna have shows at the local. We're gonna have shows at Icon Images on. Fifth Street, and we're going to have the finals and the two side events over at Kathleen Howland Theater on Cleveland Avenue. 
Blue Lemon of Arts. And what's the date? The dates are July 27th. That'll be two shows. It'll be one show here, one show over at Icon. And July 28th, the, the shows will start at 12. They will end approximately 10 o'clock. Um, we're going to need judges. Uh, judges will get, like, uh, performance judges will get $5 off. Uh, like, so we're going to have little $5 vouchers that they can give to food vendors. Um, page ju judges will get a, their dinner comped, basically, because we're going to sequester them in a room for about an hour and have them read through, like, the best of the written work. Or the, the best of the page, and then they yeah. I'll explain it later. It's fine. <laughs> They're going to get their dinner comped. That's all you need to know. <laughs> anyway, so if you're interested, come find me. I got flyers. This doesn't have everything on the back, but it has most of the things on the back. So I think any questions before we cut off the camera, because we're going to start here with Mike. We don't record anything. Any, any questions about anything? Ask me a question about life. How was your day? How was my day? It was okay. I did. I did. I work at night, so I had to like kind of nap, and I was supposed to meet with a friend at one, and they got sick, and so that didn't happen. But otherwise, it's been pretty okay. I've been last night. I read through a bunch of submissions, so like we've got some oh we got some books coming. Up. Anyone else? Have that? <laughs> How did you learn most of them? Um, lots of practice. That's true. I say it's it's hard it's hard to pick this kind of thing. <laughs> uh, anyone else have a question about anything? No? Okay, alright, so uh, 